Want to blame something for why it's late? Blame Persona 5 Strikers because I have to actually redo the whole thing. And thankfully, everything went unscathed. I'm Mega Man NG, and I welcome you to another Power Rangers Dino Fury episode review. Today, we're talking about episode 6 Superstition Strikes. And yes, it's another filler episode, but that's not to say it's a bad thing. I'm only saying that because, well, sometimes filler episodes are good if it helps develop characters. And thankfully, this episode did. Here's the deal. I'll provide a synopsis as well as some of the details. I'm running late as it is, so I better get myself moving. So let us get started, shall we? Void Knight warns its troops, Boom Tower and Mucus, that they're on thin ice and that they need a plan and soon. Meanwhile, the Rangers encounter some monster, only for it to reveal as Amelia's grandpa. As they help them, Amelia walks under a ladder. That's basically seven years bad luck. And it begins with a rip in her sweater and snowballs from there, leading to a sporex and eventually losing her morpha. This gives the bad guys a needed advantage. Can the rangers stop the new sporex? And can Amelia conquer her bad luck and superstition to save the base and her team? So yeah, that's the gist of it pretty much with this episode. New episode, new review. And yeah, two new episodes have already been announced and another one's coming next week. Surprisingly enough, this episode is mostly filler. But at the same time, I found it to be alright. It focuses on Amelia, beginning with walking under a ladder that snowballed into a series of bad misfortune that ultimately has her losing her morpher and beginning to doubt herself to the point where she doesn't want to get herself involved. Do I blame her on this? Absolutely not. I really don't blame her. Not one bit considering what she had to deal with. Thing is, I don't mind filler episodes, as I said, but if they're done in a way that helps develop the characters, I'm okay with it. Because ever since with Beast Morphers, yeah, Beast Morphers did have filler episodes, but sometimes they kind of move the plot along. Here, though, I felt it was a bit pretty basic. We saw in the last episode, and this is no exception here. As for the Sporks of the Week, Sto Smash Stone, he's no pushover. And you want to know why? He holds the only distinction for being the only Sporks being able to take down a Power Ranger in mere seconds. I mean it, Amelia takes her on only for her to lose in like, what, less than 10 seconds? Jeez, it got so bad to the point her Morpher was damaged. Now that's nuts. That's a really low point even for her. And it also gets worse when her Morpher gets stolen. And when that happens, that means Void Knight sees it as an opportunity to invade the base. Which leads to a rather interesting scene where Boom Tower enters the base, and Amelia realizes that in order to stop stop them, well, let's just say that she had to get the Morpher that, that was repaired, and use that to get her out. I know, pretty predictable, I know. But she was able to, like, slice the, get, rip the Morpher right out. But here's a fun fact for you. There was a bit of an error in the episode where when the scene when she takes the Morpher out of Boom Tower, the strap for it was still there. I mean, yeah, I bet it's a bit of a blunder, but hey, what can you do? As for the other Rangers, they did their best, but it was only in vain because Smash Stone wrecked them. Mostly because Smash Stone has the ability to take attacks and send them right back. Which is pretty interesting, to say the least. It's actually a pretty interesting design. Not only that, but it's also pretty awesome to see. I got no complaints with it, because holy moly, that was something else. Yeah, this is also the second time the bad guys were able to reach the base of the Rangers. The first time happened in the first episode, and this is the second with the with Boom Tower. Thankfully, surprisingly, her bad luck and worry for Amelia ultimately were able to turn things around. And I'm happy that she was able to get over it, because stuff like bad luck is only just superstition. It's only just messing with you and demotivating you. And thankfully, well... It actually paid off greatly. It paid off and led to her coming up with a unique strategy to take her down when the Sporex grew gigantic. Oh, and speaking of which, this episode has some debuts. First, we see the appearance of Amelia's grandfather, played by Greg Johnson. Not only that, but the Dino Fury Megazord has also a new formation. With the red, pink, and blue Zords, they form the Hammer Formation. Yeah, the pink Zord has the hammer. And it's hammer time, to say the least. Because that was able to smack that damn thing silly. And yeah, they were able to get a Dino Fury victory out of that. So that was very, very cool. And eventually, Amelia got over her bad luck. But it ultimately led to what I consider to be the funniest moment in the episode. At the very end. 
basically Ollie accidentally breaks this breaks the glass like breaks the screen of like the van like the mirror that mirror that's pretty much seven years bad luck and ultimately that kind of led to a downward slope that was just so hilarious it's not funny I swear it was just outright funny and it made me laugh now I found that to be humorous but hey bad luck is bad luck what can you do Overall, this episode was alright. It focused on Amelia, and that's not a bad thing, because it did give her some character development. In fact, like I said, it did provide development, and I enjoyed it, because, well, she was able to get over her bad luck, and yeah, we can understand why she didn't want to put herself in harm's way, in, like, not wanting to hurt other people. But yeah, I'm thankful that she was able to do it. We also got a new Megazord formation, and we see Amelia as someone no longer being bound by superstition, but sometimes it's a superstition that can help save the day. She was able to conquer it, no problem. I only wish it wasn't too predictable, because yeah, it's mostly basically formulaic. I only hope things pick up soon, because I really want to see the Rangers be pushed to their limits. Hopefully. This episode gets an 8 from me. It's a pretty solid, pretty good episode. There was a funny bit at the end, but overall, just satisfying. Hey, I got no complaints with it, I truly enjoyed it. So yeah, be sure to tell me what you think in the comments if you've seen the episode. There's going to be another review next week covering episode 7. That's it for this review. I'm running late as it is and I need to get this in. If you enjoyed, hit the like button. It means a lot. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that bell. Oh, and comments help too. They always do. So yeah, I'll see you guys then. This is Mega Man NG signing off. Peace out. You so cool!